Hi, my dear doers. Since we're getting used to the manufacturing process, I would like to enhance the flow of information within Stealthy Wood. After all, the company is destined to grow, and I want to be sure good communication is established before new teams join us. To do so, Odoo developed an ECO, aka Engineering Change Order, feature. Once Stealthy Wood is big enough, this part of the manufacturing process will be the manufacturing engineering team's responsibility, but for now, I'll handle it myself. An ECO is a document that outlines the proposed modifications to the products or parts affected by the requested change. It's a central information hub for everyone associated with a given product. I need to set one up because it will help streamline product development and improvement. Everyone can have their ECO type and companies can, of course, have several. In my case, one is enough because I want to change my table legs only to some that are more durable. So let's see how that will work in Stealthy Woods database. All right, here I am on my database. Now, the first thing we're going to need to do is to create an ECO type. So I'm gonna to jump to the PLM application, go to configuration, ECO types, and click on create. Now, I'll just need to name it for now. So we're gonna put table revision, and then I'm gonna click on save. Now, I'm only going to use this type when the bomb of a table we produce is in need of a revision, of course. And then we're going to jump to our dashboard while I have an overview of all of our ECO types, but I'm just going to jump directly to this one that we just created. I'm going to start adding some columns or rather some stages. So let's go ahead and say new for the first column, then in progress, then validated, effective, and lastly, refused, because we want to keep track of those as well, but we don't need to see them all the time. So I'm actually going to click on Edit Stage and click on Folded in the Kanban View um, so that I can have a better overview of what's actually happening, and we'll see that the, those that will be refused will be folded. All right, so let's go ahead and modify our other stages as well, and we're going to start with the Effective Stage. So let's click on the little cog icon and then go to Edit Stage. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is to take Allow to Apply Changes. Now, by taking this, I allow Odoo to apply the requested changes to the bill of material when the task reaches the stage. I'm also going to check Final Stage, and by ticking this, Odoo will automatically move the task to the stage when the final approval has been given. And you'll see below that we will actually be able to set up some approvals, which I'm going to do on the other stages, but let's save this one for now. As it's the final stage, I don't need it for that one, but we're going to hop on over to new and we're going to edit this stage as well. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and add the first approval um, that needs to be done here. So I'm going to just put uh, acknowledge demand. All right, and the admin which is me, will need to do this. And then I have my approval type as well. So I can say that this will be an optional approval, it's required, or I just need to add a comment, which is what I'm going to select for this first one. All right, and that's all that needs to be done uh, for the news stage. So let's go ahead and move on to in progress. I'm gonna modify this and I'm just going to say approve. And I'm going to add the user, which will be me again. And this time I will say that it is required. So that means that um, this approval uh, must be done in order for the task to move to the next stage. So it will be blocked here in progress until it is approved, at which point I can then move it to the next stage, which is the validated stage. So by doing that, I'm sure that only the correct changes are allowed. So let's save this. And then lastly, we have our validated stage. Now here I am going to allow to apply changes. All right, and I'm also going to add the final approval as well, which needs to be done by the admin. Once again, that's me and it is required. So let's go ahead and save this. And now that uh, my columns, my stages are all set up, we're gonna create a new ECO. So I'm going to click on create and I'm going to add a short summary. So I'm going to say um, replace table legs. All right, I have the type, which of course is going to be table revision as we're looking at um, only this ECO type. And then I can apply it on the product only or on the bill of material, which is what I'm going to select. And then I'll need to add my product. And when I add the product, the related bill of material is going to be automatically populated. Then we have our responsible, which is me by default since I created this. 
All right, and then we have our effectivity. So it's going to be as soon as possible, or we can even do this at a specific date. Of course, if I select that, I also need to select the specific date, but I want to say as soon as possible. Below, we can add some notes. And then we're going to go ahead and click on save and start new revision, at which point we are going to have um, some additional tabs such as bomb changes, routing changes, and then I'll be able to see the um, next required approval as well. So in this case, we're in the new stage. So uh, we see that I need to acknowledge the demand. So I'm going to go ahead and log a note and say, looks good. And then I'm going to move it to the next stage. So I'm going to move it to in progress. All right, then we see that that, um, that role, that approval has been done. Um, the demand was acknowledged. So let's go ahead and move it to validate. But we can't. As I mentioned earlier, once I have approval that's required, it must be approved before the task can be moved on to the next stage. All right, so let's go ahead and click on OK. OK, and what I want to do is actually replace the um, table legs. But first, let's approve this for now. All right, and I see it's approved. I'm going to move it to the validated stage. So now I'm able to do it because I completed that. You also notice that I also have a reject button as well, which may be required in some cases. Um, but fortunately, here I was able to approve it. All right, um, and as I said, I want to replace the table leg. So what I'm going to do is actually click on Update BOM. And you'll also notice here that I have this Smart button that will also let me access the BOM. And I see that it's revision um, number two. And when I click on Update BOM or when I go to that um, revision and under the Miscellaneous tab, we're going to see that this is version two of the BOM. Now, this is uh, really important and really useful um, because by having this um, version feature and duplicating the old one when working on the new one, Odoo prevents problems like engineering EBOM and manufacturing EMBOM overlay. So by doing so, I will only modify the BOM one time and manufacturing operators won't have to juggle with several different BOMs at the same time. So that's just Odoo's uh, unique way of managing uh, that process. All right, so here I am. I'm modifying the bomb. I'm going to click on edit. I'm going to remove the old table legs and add table leg version two because that is what we want to update. And then I'm going to save this. I'm going to hop back to the ECO. All right, and if I go to bomb changes, I'm going to be able to see what has been changed. So even though I did that directly on the bomb, we're going to see those changes here. So I saw that I removed the old legs and added the new legs. All right, I will also be able to see routing changes as well if I make some of those, which I didn't hear. All right, and of course I can keep track of my approvals. So here I am on the validated stage and I want to go ahead and approve this change. All right, so I'm gonna click on approve and I can apply those changes right away. So let's click on apply changes. And once I've clicked on apply uh, changes, it moves automatically to the effective stage. Um, and if I go to my bomb, I'm going to see that um, this is now my production bill of material because it no longer has that archived flag that we saw earlier on. Um, and when I go to the bill of material, so let's, um, go to our bills of materials quickly here. I'm using the shortcuts. We're going to go to our table. And when I go to miscellaneous, I'm going to see that we're actively using the version two or the second revision of this bill of material here. So I can easily keep track of everything that's going on. So that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. And if I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.